Hey, this is Rich from Lower West Side Studio, and today we're going to have a look at the uh, Strode du Dual Gene Splicer, uh, which is available from synthcube.com. Uh, the Dual Gene Splicer is a great module to start a DIY build with if you plan on uh, going that route, because there's two separate uh, PCBs, uh, each uh, mostly resistors, uh, a couple of capacitors, and one op amp, uh, and some power connectors. Very easy build, great thing to start off with. Uh, as you see, uh, both are mounted on a single uh, MU panel. The panel's by Caleb Condit. Uh, very clearly laid out, very easy to work. You've got your two inputs and your, your uh, regular and your inverted output and you've got uh, your control voltage, uh, which will basically pan between your multiple inputs. And you can put audio through those inputs, and you can put modulation sources like an LFO through those inputs. Uh, so today for the demo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, two Q106 oscillators. I'm taking the pulse waves out of those oscillators. Uh, one's at four feet and one's at 16 feet, so you get that multiple sound uh, of different uh, octaves, and we'll take those right now, plug them in here. Then from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go into a synthesizers.com Q107 state variable filter. Okay, and we're going to take the low pass filter out of that, and we're going to go into an Oakley Classic VCA as our amp. So. Bring that up so you can hear it. Now I'm going to basically unplug the four foot. So there's your your 16 foot uh, uh, note, your four foot note, and it basically mixes them or splices them together. Okay, we're going out the positive output. Sweep the filter a little. And uh, going from the the inverted to the positive using a, using a, an audio signal isn't a significant uh, significant change. However, um, when you're using a modulation signal, you'll you'll hear that a little later on in this demonstration. What we're going to do now is we're going to go out of the triangle wave from an Oakley dual LFO and into the control voltage. And that'll show you how it's basically panning between your two audio sources. Once again, we'll just go into the inverted and you'll see. Pretty much the same thing. Okay. Now what we're going to do, for a little extra fun, is we are going to use the triangle wave output and the square wave output from the dual LFO. It's great to have two LFOs. Go into the inputs here. Then what we'll do is from here, we'll take the positive output and we're going to go into the Q107's frequency control voltage. So you get that, that funky effect of basically both your waves, your LFO waves, are being spliced together. I'm going to pull the pulse wave out for a second. Pull the triangle out. Okay. So you're getting that, that mixture of both the waves. Now, what we're going to do, just for extra kicks, is we are going to modulate the, uh, the control voltage, sweeping these inputs back and forth. And I'm going to use the LFO out from an, an Oakley uh, uh, Equinox phase shifter. So now you're getting something really funky. And uh, unlike with the audio wave, when we go to invert it, you notice there's a significant difference. Now, the, the Q107 state variable filter, I'm going to pull the frequency out, uh, 
the Q107 filter has basically uh, 0 to 5 and 0 to negative 5. So in this case you can actually get the inverted feel uh, with, with the potentiometer itself. But let's plug into this U-Synth Mini Moog filter for a sec. So we'll take our input here because the U-Synth only has a 0 to 10 control voltage. Sweep that filter a little bit. Now we'll take our control voltage and we're in the, we're in the inverted output of the modulation signal. Oop. Plug it into the right port here. Now we're going to go into the... Uh, to the positive output, the regular output. So you can hear that there's a, a significant difference when you go into the positive range versus going into the negative range. Now, you can also put the gain down here for a second. We can take our audio sources and we can actually attenuate them. I'm going to use an Oakley multi mix here, and I'll attenuate these signals. So I can basically achieve the blend of waveforms or of oscillators that I'm whatever it is that I'm looking for I can sort of balance. Now you can also attenuate your uh, your modulation waveforms. Um, I'm not going to do that in this demo because I can only attenuate one of them, so uh, you get the idea. But you can run basically anything into the gene splicer, um, whether it's an envelope generator, whether it's the output of a, a phase shifter, uh, anything with a low frequency, noise sources, anything that you can basically think of to create some really cool sounds and some really cool effects. Um, very handy module to have, very functional, easy to build, easy to use, easy on the eyes, great panel, uh, really good value uh, from synthcube.com, and uh, I hope you helped. I hope you liked the demo.